Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a plan with me and I'm going to be using both of the things that I consider to be everyday carries because I kind of carry both in a sense, but I'm using my Passport Traveler's Notebook and I'm also using my B6 Slim Cafe Notes. So I know most people don't have like two everyday carries, but I kind of figured that I would carry both of them because one gives me the space that I want while I'm out because I'm a lister and I like to write like repetitive lists. And then the other just allows me to have like minimal space, especially when I carry smaller bags. I feel like the two of them work together, for me at least. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys um, basically how I get them ready for the week. So let's jump in. So just a recap of, you know, like how this week really went. Um, I talked a little bit about like changing up, you know, like the layout in which um, I was going to be doing my weeklies in here and as well as in the passport. And I actually really liked this. So here was the previous week, which was the week before. Um, and I really found that, okay, I really like having my appointments for you know specific uh, things on this side and then everything else um, on this side. I really, really like that a lot. Um, I noticed though, however, that I tend to cross out Saturdays and Sundays before even acknowledging that, you know, like even if I don't have like medical appointments for like my son or things like that, um, I do get invites to other things or other things that are timed do uh, pop up on the weekends. So I may just be leaving Saturday and Sunday unscathed, like don't touch it at all. So that way I don't have, you know, like things like this where something popped up and I had already crossed out Saturday. So um, yeah, for this following week, I won't do that. I'll just leave all the boxes blank. Um, unless we're like in the, the first half of the week and, you know, we're past Tuesday and I know nothing is popping up for Tuesday because it's come and gone, um, then I'll cross, you know, days like that out. And looking at this, I can actually cross out uh, Friday because nothing happened for that day as well. So yeah, this is how uh, it has looked for the weekly portion in here now. Now for the daily portion, I've shared uh, with you guys what the dailies look like in this planner and I won't go into too many details about it, but basically it's just me listing out a bunch of things and I don't think that you guys need to see like, uh, like my daily for say I do do a lot of tip ins and highlighting and a little bit of journaling um, and things like that but I don't really feel that it is necessary to go into too much detail about how I break down like the dailies unless that is something that you guys are interested in seeing then I can definitely just you know come up with something to kind of show you how I basically navigate through the day. Um, but yeah, so far in this book, that's how uh, the weekly planning has looked. And very similar uh, in this book as well. So you guys know I was using a different uh, weekly insert and it just did not do uh, what it was doing for me last year. So I opted to look for something else and I came across this insert. And I've been loving it so far. So this was the first week that I actually used the new insert and I really liked it a lot. I feel like it was a very clean um, layout. It gives me like a Filofax kind of feel because the Filofax has like these horizontal boxes, but I also feel like the Filofax inserts are very clean and just super simple to use. And this kind of gives me that feel. Um, and then it was also a layout that I was using earlier uh, this year when I was using my Tanya Plans binder with personal size inserts. So definitely love this layout and I definitely made it my own. Again, I kept all the appointments on the right hand side and anything else that wasn't appointment 
wise and things like that, I kind of kept it towards the right. And this worked very, very well for me. So this is what uh, this current week looked like. And then I've kind of already, so like in the Passport Traveler's Notebook, I've kind of already set up like the weeks with like minimal stickers and things like that. So um, this was already set up beforehand. So I'm just going to be filling in for the most of this anyway. I won't be laying down any stickers. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how this looked. Now let's jump over into the daily area and I'll show you guys how this book has come along. And yeah, so basically it looks pretty much the same as the other book. I just think that this is a tad bit more cleaner than the other book. I think the other one... I had more of a sloppier uh, layout and none of the information really made much sense. So this is a little bit more cleaner. There's a lot of tip-ins, hence the space is so small, but I have been uh, grabbing this a lot more than my B6 Slim, but I'm still grabbing both. Um, so yeah, I mean, I like both a lot. Um, it's really giving me some ideas for next year and like, what I want to use for next year because I'm in a phase in my life where I just really want something that I know I'll use versus, you know, following the trend of what everyone else is using and all of that stuff. I'm kind of going back a little bit on some of the things that I used to do uh, three or four years ago. So, uh, yeah, it's a full circle, but I feel like you have to go through, you know, like trial and error and try different things in order to figure out what it is that you really, really like. And um, yeah, so Passport is like, it's like my favorite. Uh, I loved Pocket. I really got my, my niche in Pocket. So I didn't think it was going to be too difficult to navigate through passport as that was literally the first size that I did use in uh, the planner um, phase but you know it is what it is I like what I like and I like both of these right now so with all of that said let's go ahead and jump into uh, our weekly let's start with our weekly so what I what I usually do is I usually take um, this book out because if I leave this book in here, then I'm going to be fighting with the left side, which is all of the bulk, and I don't want to do that, so we're going to take this little baby out, and we're going to flatten her a little bit so that she lays kind of flat, and we're going to flip to our current week, which is this week that is getting ready to pop up. So, um, basically what I'm going to do is I've got a couple of things that I use. I like to use this uh, dried floral foiled uh, book from Hobby Lobby. This one is probably like my favorite. I've purchased like two of these. I tend to purchase the ones that I use the most. I like to use these um, dots, these like uh, icons and dots and things like that in the back. And occasionally, uh, well, not occasionally, mostly I like to use um, these other stickers too because I just think that this above all the other things that I have is a really functional book. And then again, I also like to use this one for like the boxes, the arrows, uh, the dates, um, all the things, all the things, the icons, the trackers probably like some of my favorite uh, sticker books. So I've already split this. So what I'm going to do is because I know that there are things popping up for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm going to go ahead and put some of that stuff in there. So in this book, um, what I like to use for things that aren't necessarily appointments, but they have a like a time or something like that. I like to use these um, little clocks and I just feel like they're just perfect. Also, we have uh, some bills coming out for this week, so I'm gonna be noting them too. I'm gonna just show you how I note them in here. So what I like to do is I like to use these little icons to make things just stick out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is just lay down the stickers and then go back in and fill out. Um, just so I don't forget, last week I think I used pink, green, I used green. 
So this week I think I'm going to use like the grayish colors for my son's appointments. So let's put one there because he has an appointment on Monday. And then he also has an appointment on Wednesday. And then for uh, Wednesday, again, I'm going to lay down another sticker indicating a bill because we have a bill that I personally know of that will be coming out on that day. And all I'm gonna do for this is grab one of these um, dollar sign stickers. And yeah, it's basically, now this doesn't need to go uh, in the appointment area because it's not an appointment. So what I would do then is I can put it like right here. And then I can literally just write in what that is. So basically, um, I don't know if I'm gonna get questions about this. I used to get a lot of questions about this, but I got questions about the type of pen that I use. So because this is such a small size, you wanna use something that um, is small and like the nib, so that way you can get a crap ton of information here because obviously uh, with a fatter nib, you're not gonna be able to get as much. I know there are people who write really, really big, but if you have a more fine nibbed uh, pen, you're able to get a lot more information into your spreads if they're small like this. Um, but this, I, it doesn't really have like a brand. It's a Japanese brand, um, but it is in the point zero three five. And I just purchased these from Amazon. Um, I'm pretty sure they have them on the US Amazon, but I got them while we were living in Germany. So this first dot here, I'm just going to write that my son has an appointment. I'm gonna to try to zoom you guys in just a little bit. Hopefully that helps you see. So I'm just gonna write that he has an appointment. Um, Christian has an occupation appointment today at 1 p.m. And also in, uh, in that same row, I'm going to write it here as well. Ashton has an appointment today for occupation at 1 p.m. Okay, um, as I'm writing stuff in here, there will be things that pop up in my mind that uh, will trigger a memory. So for Monday, I know that there's something that needs to be done. Also, uh, speaking of, so I have two reminders for Monday, and then um, there was something else that I could not remember. Oh, I have a, a package coming on Tuesday. So um, we are getting ready to go on vacation. And whenever I start ordering stuff and I order a lot of stuff, um, I try to keep up with it by writing it down um, because otherwise I would forget about it or I just wouldn't track the packages and then I would have paid for them and not known if they were coming or not. So yeah, not good, but also not not. Uh, totally bad at the same time. So I'm gonna use one of these exclamation points just to indicate, oops, okay. Just to indicate that we have um, at least something happening on this day. And I'm not gonna add it in uh, like the appointment area because it's not an appointment. It's basically something else, but it still warrants for my attention. So I'm gonna add it there. 
and hopefully um I mean, when I when I look at plan with me videos, I try to really see how someone is using their system. So hopefully I give uh, some ideas on how you can make this small space work for you. I know there are crap ton crap ton of videos out there that have way better um, methods, but you know everyone does things differently. So maybe. This is more appealing to some of you who are watching versus, you know, someone else um, who may like a more detailed mind. I feel is not as detailed, but it's still very effective um, and detailed in its own way. So hopefully it helps you guys. Um, so like I said, I'm going to write here that there is a package. Package comes today between 10 a.m. and 11 a. And that's just so that I don't forget that there's a package on that day. Also, Tuesdays are garbage day, and I like to note these. Garbage day today. And I like to note them for the days that we have garbage day. Garbage day today. And then we got invited out to dinner um, for Friday. So I'm just gonna put this in here. Um, dinner with friends today, get the times. Because I don't actually know what time yet. Um, they haven't let us know yet. I just put that in there as a mental reminder that there is something happening within the evening of that day. Um, some other little tidbit reminders that I'm going to add in here for Monday is that my husband actually needs to send our, well, my mother-in-law um, a application so that she can have base access because she is going on vacation with us. Um, at the end of this month and so yeah I need to remind him to get that so I'm going to use one of these longer stickers to kind of like put this in here as a note try to line it up a little bit so I still have space in this box okay and then usually what I would do is write in red because red just makes everything stand out more. But because um, I use this box sticker, I don't need to write it in red. It'll stand out on its own. So remind hubby to send mom the application for base access. Okay, so that's my little note there. Um, trying to think if there's some other things. I do have my little sticker here for the bill. So our car note, car note is due today at 192, okay. And I like to put that in parentheses. So that's what's going on. And then this is typically what um, my weekly will initially start out as. And then as the week progresses, things pop up, it will look like this. So the goal for this week, um, so I've been working on our, our June trip and that has helped a whole lot, um, just kind of knocking bits and pieces of that out. If you did not see my home planner and how I kind of lay out my dashboard, I literally have a list of, a small list of things that need to be done for the month and I just take you know, bits and pieces of that list and incorporate them within the weeks themselves and then I add other things um, around that that kind of support the task that I'm trying to complete um, so basically my goal for this week um, is to clear our back room so clear the back room and even though this isn't my main planner I still like to remind myself of 
weekly goals and things like that that need to be done because I don't, um, I would be lying if I said I look at my home planner every single day, despite the fact that there are daily pages in there. I do not look at my daily planner every day. Sometimes I backfill those days um, because I use like other things for daily planning and note taking and things like that. But uh, it helps to have the information that I'm trying to keep up with written in different places because whatever I'm using, I tend to see it. And then if I can see it, then it will constantly remind me that this is what you need to be doing. This is what you need to be working on and so on. So this week's goal is to do the back rooms and the closets. So closet clean out. And also, um, this is not like a household goal, but I have another video that I want to get out there for you guys, and it's going to be on my home planner. I uh, took advantage of the Happy Planner uh, sale when they had like a huge sale of everything off, including sale items. And I picked up a couple of things that I thought would be useful to use within the Plum Planner. Like I mentioned in tons and tons of videos, I love the Plum Planner, but they don't have every single thing that I like and there are some bits and pieces about the happy planner that I like um so I got a couple of mini happy planner inserts that I think would be very useful because they can sit right in the middle of the junior size inserts that I have and yeah I'm gonna share that with you so this week's goal is to um work on a video so this is a special video for YouTube and I just like to label it fun because I don't really plan these videos I just kind of like think like oh I could share that and someone probably would be interested in seeing it all right so up here in the corner I'm just gonna write the week so it is June 5th through 11th And I also need to remind my husband. So I'm going to use a, another dot sticker to kind of indicate what I want my husband to do. I'm not going to use one of the color dots. I'm going to use one of the dots from here. Um, I think it's also beneficial to see how people use like these icons because you see a lot of people use... Um, different kinds of stickers in their planners, but they don't really use like these little icons that are in the back of some planners. Like I was watching a video where someone was sharing like their stickers and they just never use the icons in the back. This is a good way to use them um, because you can literally use these little icons. You can make these mean something for you. So that way you're not always having to write every single thing out like um you know like just little stuff you can just use these little icons to indicate something versus highlighting or something like that but um this is how i use them and i just wanted to show you how beneficial it is to use like these little sticker packs that you get from or sticker books you can get from like hobby lobby or michaels or something like that how beneficial they really are so right here i need to my hubby to change his dental appointment from the 26th because um, to be earlier. Because my husband ended up having a dental appointment scheduled a day before we left and it might not be possible to make, so I wanna remind him to change that. So looking at this head on, this is technically the week. Uh, there's really nothing in here that I need to add. Um, I just have a small group of goals for this week, which is to work on the back room, which is our guest room, and to clear out the closet. Um, and then the special or fun goal is to try to get a, another YouTube video filmed for you guys and up. Um, outside of that, that's this. 
I don't have anything else to relay in here. So what I'm going to do is basically show you how I transfer this information in here as well. You'll see some, some differences, not many differences, but it will give you an idea of how you can literally go from a larger canvas like this to a much more smaller canvas like this and still have lots and lots of information in there. So like I said, um, I split the weeks just like it is in the passport and I, I usually cross this out, but I'm not going to do that for this week because um, I realized that some stuff does pop up on the weekends that are not exactly appointments, <laughs> but invites. And so it would be very helpful if I had the space open so I wouldn't always have to do stuff like this. So yeah, oh goodness, look at me, can't multitask. So I'm gonna cross this day out because this day passed, came and gone. So I'm gonna cross this day out. And for anyone who is wondering um, about the Cafe Nanami notebooks, these are like hidden gems uh, in the planner world. All you hear about is Stology. And not that I have anything against Stology. I love the Stology products, but come on guys, there are books out there literally much better than Stology. And I really like the Cafe Note notebooks. Um, Stology would be great too. I'm not knocking them by any means. They would be really great, but they don't make a B6 Slim, which I think is more um, convenient for a lot of us because we uh, like that more narrower like look and it's also a lot easier to carry. Uh, you can get like little budget friendly covers and stuff that won't break your bank. So I happen to really like the B6 Slim as just being the perfect all around because it's like, it's enough space. It's small like a Hobonichi Weeks, a little bit bigger, but it's small like a Hobonichi Weeks, but it just gives you all the extra space that the Hobonichi does not allow for. And it's not too wide and it's not too tall and it's just like perfect. So yeah, that's my take on it. I just love the Nanami um, notebooks so much. So like I said, there are literally uh, just a couple of things going on this week and my layout is straightforward. I'm basically gonna be just transferring everything from this little guy to this and it will show you how that looks. I'm gonna sit this up like that so I can see a little bit. I try to keep the colors to be exactly the same because I feel like that helps. So I'm going to go in again and I'm gonna use some dots to relay my son's appointments. So, oops, let's do this like right there. And then this one is right here. Now I'll tell you firsthand what I already forgot that I didn't put in here. Um, so see where the passport lacks is that there's not a space for weekly notes. I basically just have that week. So in here, when little tidbits in regards to the week pop up, like reminders, things like that, stuff we may be running out, this space will get utilized for that. Um, purpose. Um, there is a daily, but if you are someone who likes to just look at your week um, and you just want to see everything at a glance really quick and you, and you just need to see like what is happening for this week really quick and like what do I need to do, this is a good place, okay? So that, like I said, is what's going on here. Um, and then, like I said, I have a package on this, um, on Tuesday and what I could do, what I could do is I could use either one of these stickers or I could use the black stickers like I did. I don't know. I did use the black stickers. So let's go ahead and use those. Um, and the more I do like a plan with me kind of an ordeal, you'll start to see like what my favorite, um, inserts or not inserts what my favorite stickers and stuff are and things like that so 
I actually um, need to kind of do like a, a meal plan. So because um, I did not necessarily plan meals yet. So also Monday, this is kind of like where I write like the reminders and stuff too. Like I use this right section or this left section basically for anything that needs to go in there. But again, I have like a system for all of it. Um, but what I was looking for was, I was looking for these little things right here. So like I said, I have a package coming on Tuesday. And so Tuesday, we're gonna put this down like right here. I hate when I get them somewhat crooked, but I'm not the person to use tweezers. I just, it's not for me. Um, so package there. And then also, like I said, we have a gathering or get together on Friday. And I'm gonna add it in the like appointment section because it is something that we were invited to, something that we have to go to, and it is timed. Um, and then what I don't need to do for this book is do what I did in the passport, which is uh, putting like a sticker box here and writing that because I have a space here that I can do that. And I can also use um, sticky notes, um, which I like to use a lot, I like to use these were some sticky notes for like a Agenda 52 binder or something like that. Got these at Hobby Lobby. I like these. Um, I don't see a lot of people using these kinds of sticky notes because they don't stick the greatest, but they are and can be very useful and functional outside of rings. You don't necessarily have to use them in rings. Um, but I like to use these little flags and things like this to kind of note stuff, especially in passport because like, look at this, this is like perfect size. Like, especially if you have like day notes and things like that, you have more notes for a day. You can use these little, um, sticky notes, uh, to put in there versus using a much larger sticky note, like, um, the, the post-it size sticky notes. And then, um, Wednesday, which is the 7th, we have a bill that is due, which is our car note. So I'm gonna put this in there. Um, let's not put it in upside down. So I'm gonna put this right here as a reminder that that is due. And I don't know if you guys like the longer videos, I wanted to kind of do this plan with me in real time. So those of you who are interested in seeing the process through and through, that you guys could see the process for what it was. Um, okay, so that seems to be that for this. So what I'm gonna do is just, um, so I use the big pens for this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna write the note about the reminder that I have in my passport here, but I'm also gonna put it on that day too. This is just the way my brain works, uh, visually how I see it. So I'm gonna write um, meal plan. So meal plan today, grocery store, shopping. This needs to be done. Okay, and then in red is where I put my son's appointments. So, package comes today between, oops, uh, what did I say? Between the hours of 10 through 11 a.m. And then um, also this day is garbage day, garbage day today. And then car note is due. Um, and the bill is 192. 
in parentheses and then um, everything else I can literally there is a garbage day here so garbage day oops garbage has to be uh, whenever I mess up with what I want to write in a section I literally just kind of wing it um, so what I'm gonna do now is go in with the red pen and fill in like my son's appointments so Ashton has an occupation appointment today for chewing at 1 p.m. And then same thing, Ashton has an appointment at 1 p.m. for chewing. Now someone might ask me, why do I write, why do I long write out things like this? Um, I do this because, for instance, if I go back a couple of weeks, I gotta find um, a really busy week where let's see this wasn't a really busy week let's keep going um it's not many weeks in here at first there were just occupational appointments so where where i'm trying to get it i think the busy week that i'm looking for is actually in my home binder but just to kind of share a little bit so my son has several appointments between like Okay, this will probably be like a better visual for you. So this is June's monthly, but let's just pretend that I can just show you on a weekly scale what this looks like and why long form or long write out everything. So my son usually has appointments that pop up several times throughout the week. Sometimes those appointments get changed because either my husband has an appointment, which interferes with his appointment, Ashton, my son, um, or maybe I may have something and it everyone's appointments interfere together and then we have to change everything around. So I long write out things to just remind myself what appointment is what. Because if I just write, and I could color code this, but I wanna make it as simple for myself and not complicated to the point where I'm relying on a specific color to kind of keep up with this. If I just write in here, Ash, an appointment at one, that isn't going to tell me anything. I know he'll have an appointment, but I don't know what the appointment is for, so I can't get his stuff ready for specific things. So I long write out everything so that my brain registers what it is that I need to prepare for. So that is why I do that. Um, and then um, here I'm going to say... Uh, dinner with friends at need a time <laughs> I don't have a, a time so I'm just gonna say need a time now here's where the big big reminders will go so like I said there's a couple of things that need to take place on Monday and this is how I basically use these little sticky notes to kind of uh, tag that into my weekly spread. So, remind hubby to get the application, oops, for our mom for base access and this is a quite important task to do it's very important what I like to do sometimes though with uh, important reminders and notes like this is I like to put them on these sticky notes so that way should this task not be done or completed by any means for any reason I can move it from week to week. That's also the, the best thing about that is I can literally pick it up and move it to the following week. 
Um, but basically, this is the weekly plan. This is, I'm just going to straighten this out because it's just a little crooked for like, for my liking, rather. Um, but basically, this is the weekly plan. Now, everything that I need to do for this week or everything that I need to remember for this week is not going to be written in here uh, at the present because realistically speaking your brain doesn't register every single aspect of that week there are going to be things that may pop up later on after you've sat down and planned your week and you might sit here and think to yourself there that there's something else that you need to do and so you can add that in but just laying down the basics of what the actual tasks are that need to be done, the ones that you can actually remember, does help. Um, and this is how I've navigated for the past couple of years through my own tasks. Um, I've tweaked and I've continued to tweak and uh, work on how to remember certain things for myself, especially like if you go way, way, way back three years into my planning journey um, that I shared here on YouTube, you'll see that. And and you'll see how like my system basically stayed the same, but it evolved into a much more um, simple, but uh, much more streamlined kind of a, a way of doing things. So yeah, I hope that these plan with me videos are not only fun to watch, but informative and helpful for you. Um, and yeah, I just, I hope you just enjoy the video overall. Um, so yeah, like I said, next week or the coming couple of days, I'll try to get out my uh, home binder or home planner video to you once I get the happy planner stuff. I'll kind of walk through you or walk with you through my system of how I kind of do goal planning, goal setting, and all of that stuff and how I'm able to really make all of these systems work together in a way that is cohesive, but also effective. And yeah, that's really all that I have for you. I thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.